Hey everybody and welcome to another True North Disc Golf production. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw that little intro there, but that's from our friends over at uh, Spotlight Studios. So thanks so much to Tyler for doing that for us. We are here for another event at the Golf North Properties here at the Foxwood Open, the first annual. We're joined with our pal here, Adam Hussey. How you doing, buddy? I'm awesome, Jeff. Thanks for having me along here. This will be fun. Cool, man. Welcome. So what are we looking at today? What's the plan? For for today, I think we're going to see some pretty cool coverage. I've, I've, I've heard a lot of talk about this, especially round one here. I'm really excited to see it myself. Well, the best part about this is I actually haven't seen any of these footage yeah. uh, or any of these shots at all. So it's going to be a complete surprise for me, too. So yeah. who we got here for sponsors? Well, of course, Innova. And I think we all know Innova. But a big shout out to Explore Waterloo Region. They really stepped up. Um, it was tough this year with COVID, but I think they're seeing the value of this type of tournament, bringing a lot of people from a lot of different areas once this pandemic's over. Good man. Excellent. And look at that. We've got a couple of nice pictures of us going there. Looking, Keeping us handsome. Yeah, surprisingly looking more handsome than I thought I would. <laughs> and today I've got my uh, sunglasses on. I sadly woke up this morning and I had my uh, regular glasses in my hands and they fell apart on me. So I got to take them over to the shop today. Um, first up in our lineup, Mr. Clayton Morgan, big sponsored? smile. Is he sponsored by Avion? Avion? Uh, no, I think he's back by Prodigy this year. <laughs> Whoa, look at this guy. I actually didn't know that Justin was in coverage. What's up, buddy? You are looking good. Uh, next player, Zach Jalif. Zach Jalif, the, uh, the club president of the Grand River Disc Golf. Zach, you're looking good, buddy. Welcome to coverage. First time we've had a chance to commentate on his action. Awesome to see him play. And he just got picked up by Innova as well. So yep. congratulations to him. Well deserved. And last up from Wilsonville, uh, Mr. Josh Prine. Uh, I think you guys are all going to really dig his portrait picture once you see it come up in between the holes. Uh, I'm digging his beard. Like, I'm quite <laughs> jealous of that. I can't grow one myself. So He's got the Bayou yeah. hat going. He's ready to take on the action. <laughs> uh, and honestly, I, I got a chance to... Um, take a little bit of a peek on some of the action that gone on. And I think this card is going to be very exciting. Yep. Okay. All right. Hole one. Uh, what a tough starting hole. 725 feet. Honestly plays like a par five. Um, uh, pretty straight on. You just got to watch out for the, uh, the OB off the drive and then definitely watch for the OB in the upshot uh, up by the green here. Cool. Um, sponsored by Foxwood. Uh, I, I cannot believe the investment that Foxwood has made into disc golf. Uh, you guys might know or not know that uh, Foxwood is the only disc golf, or golf course in North America that has two disc golf courses. So they've made a great investment. I'm super happy to see companies actually stepping up and yeah. adding more courses around. And to be honest with you, I like the pay to play. Me too. I like the um, professionalism that goes on with the course. I like the quality of the greens. I like the people. Yeah. I'm really proud that they did that and I hope they keep going. Maybe we'll see a blue course. I'd love to see a blue <laughs> course. Not available yet. Justin, a forehand. I thought you'd throw a backhand here, but that's a, a pretty good place to be. He's not OB, so we'll have a fairly easy uh, second shot. Old Zach. Next up with Jack or is Zach. Oh, he's Zach. Called Jack. This guy can bomb, and let's hopefully there's a. I remember there's a lot of headwind today, so hopefully that stays in bounds long enough. Unfortunately, I think I hit the tree when I and went out of bounds. I've tried a variety of strategies on this course, and I like Josh's. I like Josh's action here. I, I'm, hitting the tree obviously sucks, but yep. I actually like this um, line where you take a disc and throw something with a a really high turn on it and yep. just try to get it to pull to the right of that tree and then finish off down the hill. Yeah, so Zach's got a good ways to go here, so. Big drive from Zach. And it's looking like it might go OB. Is he okay? Uh, I think he's, he's okay. okay. All he's right. Okay. Murphy. Nice to see him with a back end. A uh, little story about Justin. Um, I think it was a couple of years ago, he pretty much threw only forehand, and I think it was two winters ago he started to really work on a backhand and as you can see it's backhand's looking good and i gotta say like justin was a big motivation to myself because i was only a backhand player and Ooh. watching him develop really forced me into you know realizing i had to learn how to throw a forehand as well justin's got good yeah he's really got good. good fast i'm yeah. super impressed by what he's done in the last year in his game you can tell he's put the work in 100 percent clayton with a massive drive yeah. this is just clayton doing clayton things we'll see that probably throughout the day yeah and this, at this point, I think the weather was not too bad. I think we were looking at about nope. 15 kilometers an hour wind, but it grows to over 40 as the day progresses. I Yeah, I remember being halfway through the round and the wind really picking up. So um, today, 
was a really challenging day to play. Oh, mm. oh, oh, Justin, you went OB. You know better than that. All right, that's a scary putt. OB right behind. Zach with a big putt here. Come on, Zach. All right, sit. All right, that'll work. Good shot. Yeah, at this point, this is a very tough hole because of how close we are to the OB line. Yep. Easy for a roll away here and a uh, good aggressive bid there. Josh was sort of a, not sure, it's sort of a half and half, go yeah. for it, get it in there and just get through this yeah. hole kind of Come thing. Come on, Justin. Oh, Beautiful great putt. shot. Great putt. Oh, bogey save. Yeah, that's the right kind of action. Oh, a review, a replay. Beautiful. Look at this putt. He is very comfortable at stepping up at uh, to circle two putts and, and canning them uh, more so than anyone in our club. He had a good angle on that, too. Not yeah. a lot of risk in case he missed. Yeah. Come on, Clay. Nice putt. Good birdie nice from birdie. Clay. A birdie on this hole is special. That's mm -hmm. a really good start to the tournament. Honestly, I think a bogey is a good start to this tournament as well because this hole, I would be surprised if it doesn't play closer to a five than a four. This is a very tough hole. If you get a good drive, you get a good upshot, you can definitely birdie this hole, but there's so many dangers. Yeah. Clayton with the only birdie on the hole. Uh, a couple of bogues, good clean up and save from Justin uh, and as well as Zach there. And Josh just kind of gets through things with a solid par. Solid par is a very, that's in my opinion, a birdie here and a way to go, Clayton. All right, on to hole two. I love this hole, 250 feet, two uh, very different routes. You got a, a backhand or a forehand route. This route seems to be a big, big forehand route, uh, or backhand route, but uh, the scary part about this is not only the golf green in front, but this basket placed on a hill. Uh, Wellington, um, big shout out to Wellington. Uh, I personally have a big keg of uh, SPA in my fridge. Mm -hmm. Guys, pick up some Wellington at, at your local LCBO and talk to your local restaurants about getting Wellington in there. They're just an awesome beer company and they've certainly put a lot of support into disc golf in Ontario. Awesome, man. Thanks, guys, for your support. Clayton with his drive. And it ends up there. Right. Looks like he's set up just to par yeah. it out. So here's that forehand route. Oh, that was tight. Ooh, just through the trees. I don't think he was going for that kind of shot. No. He's safe, though. No, he's safe, and uh, he should have an easy par from there. Here, Justin again with the forehand route. It's funny, as a lefty, I take the right-hand backhand route. Oh, he sneaks through. That'll work. That's his favorite flick. Guy loves his flicks. Mm-hmm. And another four, and maybe I should start throwing the uh, forehand line. There you go. That's better. This looks clean. Yeah. Come on, skip up there power? nicely. Yeah, sit up does. there. Sit up. Stop. Perfect. That's the right kind of shot. Nice man. shot, Zaku. All well done. A little bit of a scary shot here. Sit nicely. Sit, sit down. All right, that'll play. going to have a bit of a rough putt there, but I think it'll be all right. Yeah. This shot is deceptively difficult because of the uphill. Yeah, and especially adding the wind in there as well. Sit down. There we go. That's an easy par. Now Josh with a good up shot. Is, Josh, is Justin running this? Go for Flick it. it. Yes. Nice, nice putt there, Justin. So this is the kind of action I expect out of uh, Justin. That's a great way to start a round. Very two, good. two challenging putts and making them both. Keep it up, bud. Free to do a replay another one two for two justin keep it up buddy and this is a scary putt because if you miss it you could be going 20 30 feet long oh just catches the edge of the basket too nicely done that's why they call disc catchers right <laughs> all right come on clayton great putt good man it's chris underwood in the background uh big shout outs to his work I think this was the either the first or the second tournament he had ever filmed. This is the first commentary I've ever done. There's a lot of firsts here. How you doing so far? You I like love it? this. This is fun. It's good timing. Yeah. One nice of my favorite things to do is just to hang out and watch all the the latest action that's come out. I can think of worse things to do than watching disc golf and talking about it. <laughs> hey, and by the way, what's the story behind these trophies? Because they're badass. You know what? Um, I think last minute. Um, 
uh, Daryl came up with this idea, and there is no doubt, amazing idea. I can't remember who did who designed them, but did a fantastic job of them. I love them. Oh, I love them. Re- really good addition. Well, whoever you are, man, thanks for the work you guys did, and uh, beautiful trophies. Couple of birds, couple of pars there. Moving uh, on to hole three, what hole, do we got? Hole three is another tough one, especially for the uh, right-hand uh, uh, dominant players. 380 feet, got to watch for the, uh, the OB to the right, and some people can hit that stream. Uh, big shout out to Mission Bell. Uh, Steve Law, who uh, runs D- D- Mission Bell, is also the club president for the Stratford Club, and he is just putting a ton of effort there, and he helped us out a lot here. So here's the shot I think is the right shot, the big forehand, let it sweep through and come back. Let's see how it works out for him. Come on, sit nicely. All right, good safe play. It's a great shot, lots of progress. Is this uh, is this path your OB? Is no, it, is it's it not fair? OB. It's, it's fair? Yeah, yeah, it's fair, yeah. Cool. Oh, looks like the wind caught that one. Come back, Zach. Let's see something over. Stable, sit down. That's what I mean. There's the, uh, it's happened to me even a couple times where that stream can kind of catch you by surprise. (laughs) It was a heck of a shot, though. A lot of power in that one. Clayton, you got gonads, man. Going for a backhand here. Um, I'd be terrified to do that if this this hole was reversed. Good shot. Clayton with just an effortless drive. Yeah. Makes it look so easy. Jealous. Josh, where's your hat, man? And where's your, your hat? forehand, keep, Josh? Come on. Keep the sun out of your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This looks great. Come on. Sit nicely. Sit nicely. Get around that. All right. Perfect. Get recovery, Josh. Oh, Zach got lucky. He's pretty close to the... Oh, no. He did go into the stream. So Zach's third shot. Yeah. Good up shot. And it looks like the wind is still fairly calm, but oh, you guys are in for a treat if you can see wind. <laughs> Look at that hair. I'm Clayton jealous. making his, his adjustment. Do it. Oh. Oh. Nice try. I have dreams of growing like my, my hair in and gonna rock the mullet i'd like to come on <laughs> justin three for three. Oh, oh nice try buddy that would have been unreal if you made three replays in a row oh there'll be plenty of action left come on josh sit down great pot Good man josh that's a brilliant beard I'm jealous. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. I've been working on mine for yeah. a year and a half. It takes time to get it good, to yeah. get it thick enough to, to shape it in. Yeah. Well, I got a couple of key bald spots, so it's never going to happen for Aww. me. Aw. I've never seen that before. It's cool. Oh, no, I just I found this one bottled it. It worked. All right. Awesome hole three. Beautiful uh, view here. I don't even know where this is on the course. This is... I don't know. Oh, maybe the red side. I think that is the red side. Uh, all right, Clayton's uh, still minus one. Good for you, Clayton. A couple of bogeys out of Zach and Josh. A couple of pars out of Justin and Clay. Uh, that hole can get away from people, so yep. it's actually pretty good to get out of that hole with a par three or with, with a par and just kind of move on. So hole four, uh, it's a must birdie hole, 220 feet, um, but we do have to worry about the OB on the left and the green on the right. Uh, what was different than regular play here is we did a drop zone, so. You could be 10 feet away and having to go back to the drop zone, which makes it a guaranteed bogey. So uh, it scared me, and I'm, I'm sure it's worrying these players as well. Let's see how they tackle it. This green on the right is OB as well. Yep. This seems to be the right line. Guys either Hit crash into this tree here. Uh, oh, that's ooh. a bad kick. That's an unfortunate bounce. Yeah. Not not out of Justin's range, though, no. to, to birdie that anyway. Clayton actually has too much power here. Let's see how he handles it. Go in. Oh, that looks so Hit. good. Oh. Nice run, Clayton. Good try. Actually, not a bad play to kind of go past the OB. Is he like, like, like so five feet from the OB? That's a, it's close. Big Zach Heiser play. Big wide Heiser. I like this play. Yeah, I like this too. Perfect. Nice shot, Zach. Good bounce. It's just never fun to hit those trees and get buried underneath. Those trees are actually lower than they look yep. on the camera. Josh taking another big backhand route. I think that's the way to go here. And great shot. Watch your head, bud. 
What a drive. And you can see the drop zone right there. Thankfully, no one had to go to there. Oh, nice try, Justin. That's a scary putt, especially with the OB right behind. That could be three strokes there pretty quick. Nice bird, Zach. I like Zach's putting style. Yeah. This is different than what I've seen. He's very deliberate. Yeah. Very laser-like, too. Mm -hmm. uh, when Zach is on, he can really be on. Shot nice. from Clay. Nice bird. Nice smile. He's got to be getting pretty co uh, uh, comfortable with online or video coverage, eh? Clayton is just Clayton, man. <laughs> Honestly, I like I like talk. I just was on the phone with him a half an hour ago. I, yeah. I I like hanging out with the guy. I like playing golf with him. I like doing yeah. comments. He's just a fun dude. Yeah. The smile's very genuine. Yeah. No, he seems like a good guy. I haven't had a chance to play with him yet, but hopefully uh, one of these days soon we'll get out. Uh, we've got uh, three birdies here in a par. Uh, Justin with a decent run there to pick that up for the star car, but maybe we'll get that next time. Come on, Justin, mm. you could do better. I wonder if Justin's going to be watching this cover thinking, oh, I missed that button. <laughs> okay, uh, hole five. Uh, very difficult hole, 600 feet. Um, you got to get that drive to the right of the uh, cart path. You have a lot of obstruction in the way. Creek in the front. A par is great here. Uh, this whole sponsored by Xperia, uh, I, we picked them up this year. Xperia is a company that I've been working with and know about for, for quite a while now. They, they are a uh, nationwide insurance investment brokerage. Guys, if you're looking for advice and looking for for uh, choice, Xperia is a great place to go. And quite honestly, if you're looking for a career change and considering financial services, give Xperia a call or just contact me and I'll introduce you to someone there. Um, I've seen some people have some very successful careers at that shop, and uh, and I'd encourage anyone consider it to take a look at them. Cool. Ooh, the roller play. This first drive, we got an OB, decent drive from our second player, Josh with a roller. This is awesome. Come on, stay in. Come back in. That's a fantastic play. Beautiful shot. Wow. This is what I expect more is the forehand. What happened there? Come on, wind, bring it back. Skip off, get over. Is it touching? Oh, I think you're touching. oh he's in. He's good. He's good. Justin. Holy smokes! All right, Clayton from the drop zone. Come on, Clayton. Hey, he's big. I love these shots out of Clay. How he can shape these. I'm not sure What's what he disc throwing he's throwing. There? I don't like know, but he's he's very good at getting these discs to go straight up. That looked like Turn a mid right. Looked like a mid range or a putter, and he yeah, just... he he can pull it off. Wow. He's worked right. on that a lot. Zach. This looks solid. Yeah, great place there for the great drive. Great up shot. Wow. Awesome shot, Zach. I don't think, uh, folks at home, if you haven't played this hole before, I, you have to respect how good of a shot that really was. Yep. And this as well. Come on, get over this creek. Great shot, Justin. Going to have an obstructed putt there, but I have faith in Justin. He's got a good Anheuser putt. Oh, I just can't imagine being up there for my second shot. Great shot, Josh. Beautiful. Yep. Yeah, for us mere mortals, honestly, if I was sitting in the whole circle one or circle two, yeah. on my, uh, after my second shot, I'd be delighted. Yeah. Oh, this is a rare birdie. Good bid there from Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Nice bird. Looks like Zach is in his automatic putting. Yeah, he's I think he, he's, he's got to be of proud of that. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that second shot was fantastic. Yep. Clean That's... up that birdie. And Josh as well. Yep. Good lines from both of them. Absolutely. Yeah, getting a bird in this hole, you're, you're moving ahead of a lot of people. I'm glad we got a chance to film the chase card in this event. And thank you to you guys for facilitating that, making it easy for us to... Uh, to film as much action as we did. Hey, there's no doubt about it. Uh, coverage of Disc Golf in Ontario is going to grow Disc Golf in Ontario and hopefully attract some better players and hopefully we can make more bigger tournaments. Uh, moving through this, we got uh, Clayton with an unfortunate bogey with that drive off the gate. Very uncharacteristic of him. Uh, Zach and Josh, fantastic drives, fantastic upshots, converts them into birdies, and uh, honestly, getting a par from Justin, nothing wrong with that. Yeah. All uh, right. Hole six. Hole six, 250 feet. Looks easy, but it's not. You know, you have the obstruction, the trees in front of you, you have the bunkers, you have the green, and you have OB behind. 
it is a, a must birdie, but there is a lot of chances to get a bogey. Um, sponsored by Tin Lid. You know, honestly, this is my second time working with Daryl on a tournament, and I've had a blast working with him. Uh, the guy puts in a ton of effort and has some great ideas, and uh, I look forward to working with him again. Cool. Thanks, Daryl, for everything you do, buddy. No, it looks like you found the yeah, bunker. Zach with a shot here. Pulls out a hazard in one of those sand traps. All right, See stay Josh sit down. Better. Ooh, how did okay. that stay in? Wow, Josh. You got as lucky as Justin did the hole before. Super lucky. This uh, looks like this, a good line. Go in. That's a perfect shot. That's exactly what you want. You, you get can it kind of the... crash into those, um, you know, those uh, the rolling hills. Yep. That's the right route to take. Absolutely. This looks good, too. And that's going to sit down. Easy. That's part right of the land. <laughs> Side out, do you? All right, Zach, let's see you make a putt. For birdie out of the hazard. No, it'll be for par. Or, excuse me, for uh, par. Arrow, great right. par, great save, Zach. Nicely done. Ah. This Josh for birdie. Josh delicious. <laughs> Stop from Josh. That's the end. Nice, too. Like four feet. It looked like it was What's Josh yeah. putting with there? 100% on his Another nice birdie. Way to go, Justin. Can you just do another pose? <laughs> Great birdie there, Clayton. Nice Gotta work on the calisthenics diet. Nice balance maintenance there. Uh, that's funny. Now put Justin and Clayton on the same card. You're okay. gonna get some great photogenic moments. Absolutely. Three birdies in a par out of the boys here. Uh, and this could have easily been a star card. Just a bit of an unfortunate shot from Zach here getting in the sand trap. Yeah. Hmm. Next hole, hole seven. What do we is got? It's a very interesting hole. Yeah, hole seven. Um, we got the triple Mando here. You got to get through there. You get through there, you got a good shot at birdie. Uh, a lot of people take a big high or uh, the forehand route around uh, the trees. If you drive it far enough, you, you got a shot of going right down the middle here. A good one to get a birdie on, a tough one. And sponsored by uh, Wellington. Um, quick story about Wellington. Uh, first time I met the uh, sales rep there, I had to explain what disc golf was. And he literally stopped me 10 seconds in. He goes, Adam, I got a basket, not just in the front of my house, but one in the back. <laughs> this guy's been disc golfing for a long time. Never met him. And he lives in our area. Oh, great shot, Justin. Good story. That's cool. It's always fun when you kind of run into that people that play because it's almost like a little club. Yeah, it's funny. A disc golf's an underground sport, and then there's still an underground to that underground. Absolutely, there is. Huge Get shot out. from Justin. Ooh. Oh, that, that, that's. Oh, he, he did go over it. Yeah, yeah, it went went through the top. I don't know if you saw Justin's forearm behind that, that's but beautiful. that was a great shot. Just cleared it. Here's another beauty. Get, Get here. down there. That is a great drive, folks. Look at this. Look roll. at this. <laughs> That is awesome. Way to go, Zach. I've heard of people taking a, a roller, and I've heard of rollers getting all the way down to the green. I have seen it done a couple of times. Wow. It's rare, and it's very tough. I've, I haven't seen it done in competitive play. Yeah. Here's Clayton with his classic shot, pulling this disc right to the right. He's got a chance of par. Actually, he does. It's a pretty good recovery, considering the, uh, the OB right. there. So a forehand through the trees. This is, should be nice, too. Sit nice. Come Laser on. beam. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, great oh, shot, Josh. That's fantastic. Yeah, it looks like Justin's going to be taking it through the gut, too. Pull, pull, pull. Come back. I wonder if he felt uncomfortable for the fact that he had to go down the middle there as opposed to taking the uh, the big forehand uh, route around. He's got a pot. It looks like it's, uh, it's hard to say, maybe 40 feet. Eagle chance. Side of circle. Uh, good bid. Nice birdie. Takes all the stress away from the putt. Nothing 100%. wrong with that. Nope. I'd take a birdie here any day. This looks like it's probably more than that. It's definitely more than 50. Come on, Justin. Do it again. Oh! <laughs> what a shot! That's so sick! Oh, love oh, it. Oh, what a shot. Yeah, way to go, Justin. Let's see another replay on that one. Where's the replay? Come That's on. There be, we go. Yeah, that's got to be a replay cow. for sure. Look at that. Look at this putt. Oh, it, my God. And it's dead center, yeah. too. So Wasn't many any doubt. So many putts he, he takes for it's out of his hand. <laughs> you know what's going in. Let's see it again, Clayton. Clayton. Oh, good oh, run. Good, good bid there. Got the 
the hat on now. Crock it up. No. Oh boy. No, we've all been there. We've yeah. all done that. You know, it's funny. I played on camera for the first time uh, just this past weekend, and it's. Uh, I can't describe it any other way than just it feels very, very different. Yeah. A 10 foot putt can feel like a 50 foot putt. I don't blame you for feeling Actually, that it's way. terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> and I suck. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, you looked almost upset with your birdie there. Great, well, great birdie, man. We got some movement. Great scores. Clayton drops a stroke here. Um,. Minus one for the end. Puts up a bogey. Josh still sitting at minus two with his with his par. Couple of birds. Fantastic shot out of Justin Murphy. Uh, and Zach making that birdie look effortless. Even at this level, being under par at this point is a really good start. It is. All especially right. given the wind conditions and everything that was going on. Uh, so what on, do we got here in hole eight? Uh, hole eight. 205 foot uh, shot. A little uphill. Got some trees to contend with. Again, one of those must birdie type holes, but you got to watch out for the uh, the OB and cart path to the right. Uh, DGU um, Disc Golf University, they uh, are united. They um, really helped us out in this tournament, giving us a lot of credit. I hope everyone enjoyed uh, their prizes that they got, and uh, we just want to thank them for you know the contributions they made to this tournament. Thanks, guys. Uh, Justin with his first shot up here looks like a. Um... Pretty nice forehand. Yeah, it's a, it's. I see a lot of forehands here, but there's a crazy backhand route as well. Great shot, Zach. Same route. Looks like everyone's gonna. Actually, I'm curious what Clayton's gonna do. Clayton will backhand this, I would think. Yeah. Will he go up the gut or will he go to the right? I've seen a lot of people go to the right with something. That... I think he'll go straight up the center. Yeah. I filmed him a decent amount. I don't think I've ever seen him do anything but that. Yeah. Come on, get around, come back. Yeah, that's, that's about what I would expect go. out of him. Tough putt, though. <laughs> I think he wanted to be a little closer than that. Yeah. One of the things with Clay is he's got so much power in his game that sometimes he struggles a little <sighs> bit with, with you know, reducing how much he's throwing. Yeah. Again, though, it, it, effortless power. Justin with a birdie attempt. Oh. <laughs> Justin's hot right now. He's feeling it. If you look at his rounds at club every week, man, oh, he's been he, crushing. He, he does. There's a reason why he's scoring as low as he is. Yeah. I'm glad we caught some of this on camera. Great putt there, clean. Nice bird. And Zach, watch your head. I want to pose out a Zach. Come on, Zach. Three birds and a par out of Clayton. Clayton with a good shot there to put another star card up, but maybe we'll catch that next time. Uh, I'm pretty impressed by how tight this race is so yep. far. Three people at minus three. Uh, Clayton sitting at minus one. Uh, I expect him to catch up some strokes as we move through the back half of this course. Oh. Uh, definitely will favor his power. All Hole right. nine. Hole nine. Um, this actually is what sold Foxwood on putting a disc golf course on the golf course basket. I think the story is the, the uh, Daryl went out with uh, the powers that be to take a look at this hole and said, look, this is why we're going to love playing out here. And there's no doubt, doubt about it. We love it. Uh, sponsored by Blendable. That's uh, my company. We're a benefits company. We're a disruptor in the benefits industry. If you're, um, if you're a business owner looking or needing benefits or had trouble with them in the past, give us a call. If you're an employee and you know, people have asked, or uh, they've seen problem with the benefit plan, give us a call. We will certainly do a better job. Awesome. All right, Zach. Yeah, a common play here is a forehand. Um, scary backhand for a righty. Almost an ace run. Speaking of ace runs, oh. great shot, Zach. First shot of Justin. Uh, OB on the line there. Great park job on shot two. Josh with another forehand. He's got a good forehand. Great shot. That'll work. Yeah. That's a scary OB right there, especially with this backhand shot. This looks like a mid. As you're that crossing right all driver. over OB, and you, there's a small landing area, but he's wide enough that he's absolutely fine. These are not the spots he wants to be picking up pars or putting himself in tough spots for, yeah. for birds, because these guys are just absolutely parking every shot. Adjust it again for a big putt. Nice try, buddy. Good bid there. A little, little jump at the end. I'm going to go tap that in, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god, you need to get Justin on coverage more often. He's such a character. Oh, we've we've filmed him a few yeah. times. Yeah. I'm glad to see him uh, sort of embracing the camera now. Oh yeah. Oh, good run, Clay. Good run. Yeah, the first tournament I saw him play, you could tell he looked nervous, and you could just see he's a lot calmer today. Well, I, I have a, a, a newfound appreciation for that. I remember yep. having this conversation with him, and we had filmed him at Centennial in Toronto. Great bird, Josh. Yeah, it was a beautiful birdie. And he, he remarked to me how, how different it was to play in front of a camera, and it wasn't the camera that bothered him. It was just yep. a different experience. Yep. And I've seen him very quickly progress, and this is actually the best action I've seen out of him so far. Uh Amazing birdie there, Zach. Uh, you made it look too easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, drives like that make it simple. Yeah. A uh, couple of birdies. Uh, Justin with an unfortunate bogey there. Mm -hmm. um, that OB right off the drive didn't help and certainly puts him in a tough spot to make the putt for par. Uh, and Clayton certainly wanted to be closer on his drive. Uh, this is what you do. If you can say, take these easy holes, get these layups done properly yep. and stack these birdies, this is how you get low scores in this course. I used to be a, just a golfer, and the best advice I got from a pro was uh, if you look at 18 holes, split them up into three categories, your, your uh, six hardest, your six easiest, and the ones in the middle. And, and he said, if you birdie all the easy ones and you know get a birdie or two in the other, you're eight down, and you'd be happy with that, wouldn't you? And I, I think that's a mindset that we uh, more disc golfers should take is hard holes play them for the par the easier holes attack attack and um and with that you could probably get some better scores oh it's good advice hey look at this sponsor all right guys well to, just as a quick shout out to us uh, one of the things we're doing on the off season now is stacking a lot of product and one of the things we want to do is buy as many secondhand discs as possible so if you have any discs that you're not using at home whether they're from tournaments and you got them in a player's pack you don't use them anymore uh, discs that you just don't throw that sit around in the bag um, and you want cash or you want to trade them in uh, come and see us we'd love to buy them um, this is our first off season we've experienced uh, uh, but thank you so much for all the business we've been getting uh, we continue to stay busy in fact last week ironically was a record week for us so that that's yeah. awesome um, and I gotta say there's a lot of cool carts down there too I yeah think. we just got yeah. Zook in perfect uh, and big shout out to Toplink as well uh, they do a lot of backing for us help us acquire product and find out new stuff and always sponsor every uh, event that we do so thanks guys for all that help uh, mm -hmm. how'd your first round go the it's first over? half around yeah holy cow that first was fast nine. I I they, went it blew by i had fun it was Good. easier than i thought it would be all right guys well there you have it uh we're going to be moving into the back nine next and we'll see you soon all right Thanks. take care